Hi, my name is Alyssa and I draw all kinds of things, mainly Animal Crossing characters as of the last few months because of New Horizons. And this week I wanted to draw Reese and Cyrus because I want to continue talking about my main grievance with New Horizons that I brought up in a video I'll put a card up to in the corner. Uh, my, I guess it was my review of New Horizons, I suppose, after putting several hundred hours into it. Uh, my main point against New Horizons is the update-based model that they have. And I understand people keep leaving comments like, I really like updates because it means that time travelers can't spoil everything in the game and it keeps the game fresh, blah blah blah. I understand those arguments, however, <laughs> look at the updates we've gotten. There's only been two good updates, I would, I would argue. Uh, the first one was the bushes with leaf. You know, Earth Day event, giving us finally hedges that we needed to decorate our islands, and the the big museum up expansion update that came with adding red to the game. However, I would argue all of those things should have been in the game from day one, just like I said in my video before red came out. Uh, red was a great update, the museum expansion was an awesome update. However, why wasn't that in the game from day one? Those things were in New Leaf, right? And we had so much more to do in New Leaf. There was diving, which is rumored to come back in New Horizons. There was Blathers, the coffee shop, which is also rumored to come back. All this stuff that we already had in the previous game for a less powerful console, we're now waiting on hoping in an update and hoping it's going to be as good as the previous game or better or have more to do, things like that. And it's just not certain that what we're going to get is going to be as good as New Leaf or better. It's kind of like, and I kept getting comments of people agreeing with me saying it reminds them of The Sims 4, which I think is an excellent example because I also play The Sims 4 and I have way too many expansion packs for it, even though I know the game, the base game, and the game itself is pretty hollow and lacking. Sims 4 I still play because Sims 4 is a unique circumstance where I, I would argue probably 90% of the gameplay is entirely your imagination, and the rest is just kind of decor that you use and uh, gameplay that you use to help make that story unfold, the story that you have in your head unfold. So people will put up with a lot of crap when it comes to Sims 4 lacking gameplay depth and all that kind of stuff, even though at the end of the day, I speak for a lot of people when I say my ultimate Sims game would just be an HD remaster of The Sims 2. I thought that was the perfect Sims game. But it's it reminds me of Animal Crossing because we start with this bare bones game, which is New Horizons, and at the beginning, New Horizons, there was a lot to do because we hadn't yet, you know, fished all the fish for that season and caught all the bugs and, it, you know, really explored our islands. I think the slow build up the first week or so of gameplay was really great. Um, you know, unlocking the pole vault and the ladder day by day and not time traveling during the opening of the game is very satisfying. But once you've had the game for a long time and even ignoring the fact that people were playing the game for more hours per day than I guess would be typical due to the pandemic, uh, even ignoring that, by now, even people who are very casual players who only put in a half hour, an hour a day or every other day, uh, they're getting burned out too because there's just not enough new content to keep people coming back. I check back to see who the new visitor is because I still want to get some Celeste recipes and I still want to get certain wallpapers and floorings from Sahara and I still get excited about Red's boat coming in because I love the sculptures real and fake and things like that. So I keep coming back to play the game but you know come December the only reason I'll be logging in is to see the new scenery and for the Christmas items and I hope by then there's going to be a real juicy gameplay update. This is how they need to redeem themselves is with a real meaty gameplay based update like adding cooking or farming which are both rumored. They need to drop that ASAP because people need new things to do every day, new reasons to log in besides just seeing what's in the shop and who the visitor is, right? Or hearing Isabel talk about her missing sock for the 80th time in a row. Um, people need a reason to log in. And how you don't do that is the topic of today's video, the subjects of this art, Reese and Cyrus, the wedding, si the wedding season event. Uh, I think this event was handled incredibly poorly, and it could be made so much better so easily. So, if you haven't played the game recently, you don't care about the latest update, or you just don't own New Horizons yet, the wedding season event runs from June 1st to June 30th, and all it is is you go to Harvey's Island, which is an island where you take photos and you can set up furniture to take photos of villagers and stuff like that. You go to Harvey's Island, Reese and Cyrus are there in their wedding in their wedding garb, like they are in this picture I'm drawing of them. They're very cute. 
and they tell you we want to take photos of our reenacting our wedding day to celebrate our love or whatever. So they tell you to either use the items provided to decorate the wedding ceremony or to decorate the wedding reception. And it, it goes every other day. Like day one is the ceremony, day two is the reception, and it kind of alternates. You have to go back to Harvey's Island multiple days in a row. And the only reason to keep coming back after day two, because it keeps cycling, they want you to do the ceremony and the reception over and over. The only reason to come back is because you're prized for setting up all this furniture and taking a photo. You get heart crystals from Reese, which you can give to Cyrus to purchase the unique special wedding items, a lot of which are very nice. So it gives you an incentive to come back, but it's such busy work that even I, as someone who loves the furniture and thinks it's really cute and wants all of it, I'm finding myself not wanting to do it anymore. I've done it like four days in a row now. I got the candles, I got the cake, I got the tables, and I'm kind of over it. Like, I don't even care if I get the pipe organ or the arch or any of that anymore. I just, I don't care. And I'm someone who loves Animal Crossing and loves decorating and loves new furniture. Uh, and I love Reese and Cyrus, so this should have been a slam dunk. But by having people come back, I think, what is it, seven days in a row or something like that to get all of the furniture? Or it, it's, it's got to be at least five because I did four days and I still didn't get everything because I don't have the arch unlocked yet. So it, it's just too many days you have to come back to do the same busy work. This event could have been so much better if they just made it a one day event that you could do on any day between June 1st and June 30th. Here's how I would have done the same event. You fly to Harvey's Island, they tell you we want to recreate our ceremony in this room and then in this next room they want to do the, um, the reception. And you decorate both rooms on the same day and, you know, as a result of taking photos, no matter how well you set up the furniture or whatever, you just get all of the wedding furniture for, for doing that. Because coming back to do this busy work to unlock all the furniture, just it's it's too grindy of a thing that has no fun to it to do the same thing day in and day out. People are making it fun for themselves by just filling the room with scorpions or whatever, but, <laughs> but it's really not a fun thing to do to fly all the way, because like going to the airport to fly to Harvey's Island is already a chore. And then doing the same thing you did the last three days in a row just to maybe get enough crystals to get a new thing. It's just, it's ridiculous. It should have been a one or two day um, ordeal. Like do the ceremony one day and the reception the next day. And if you do it perfectly, maybe you um, you get a special thing or something. But, uh, you know, and give yourself, an, they could have an opportunity to do it perfectly to get like, I don't know what the ultimate item is, maybe the pipe organ or something. But they should have made it way shorter of an event. Um, and it, it's really disappointing that they're dragging out this very minimal event so long when it's so not fun to do after the first two days. And it's a shame, because like I said, I love Reese and Cyrus, and to see them brought back in the game was really exciting, but for this, not so much. And same with Rover for uh, the Mayday event. Love Rover, he just made a little cameo appearance for a one-day maze event. They gave you, what, a couple bells and his very cute uh, suitcase item, which I do like that item, but uh, yeah, <laughs> not the most thrilling updates. Like, are these the kind of updates that you guys were looking forward to when you were leaving comments on my thing about how great updates were? Because I can't imagine anybody getting excited about um, another six, seven, whatever months worth of events like these that are, you know, kind of a letdown. And I'm being very generous here because I love this game and I love these characters and I want better for them. But uh, it's it's not acceptable to keep ro you know rolling out these updates that are mediocre at best to a very you know ex enthusiastic fan base and quite frankly this game has sold so well and I've heard comments from you know the development team or whatever saying that they want to make this the best game ever but we don't even have quality of life updates as far as like crafting multiple things of bait at once reducing the amount of menus you have to jump through to get to somebody else's island at the airport. You know, very simple stuff that they could have patched by now. Um, we're just, we're waiting for the most basic of quality of life updates, let alone uh, updates that add something new and exciting to the game. So, I don't know, I'm kind of bummed out about the update model still. Like, I still hope that we'll get cooking and farming and like really juicy, meaty updates to the to the gameplay itself that adds something substantial to do and look forward to, 
I would love to have basically like a mini Harvest Moon type of ability to harvest crops to then use for special crafts or cooking or whatever. I think that would be phenomenal and if they are working on that they need to hurry it up because I think it would be perfect for summertime. Can you imagine like, you know, harvesting corn to like grill to give to people at like a little cookout or whatever. It would be so cute. Um, you know, th that would be the perfect time of year to drop an update like that. And uh, all I've heard are rumors about pot potentially diving um, or being related to cooking or something, but it's all rumors and uh, you know, I'm not getting my hopes up after the kind of updates that we've seen, with the only substantial one being the museum update, which again, should have been there from day one. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this wedding season event. Have you got all the furniture? Uh, do you care to get all the furniture? Have you given up like me? Do you, Are you one of the people that likes the event and likes going back to redecorate a new way every single day? Um, I don't know. I just don't know about these kinds of updates and I really hope that people are letting their disapproval of these kinds of updates being heard loud and clear like they did with Bunny Day um, because they did take the feedback from Bunny Day eventually and uh, nerf the amount of eggs that you could fish for Bunny Day making that event slightly more tolerable at the end. So I hope the development team is, team is still listening and realizes that these little cameo appearances of beloved characters from New Leaf without any of the New Leaf gameplay isn't going to cut it in the next gen console game Animal Crossing title. Like, it's it's just not enough for us. We had so much in New Leaf, and <laughs> we took it for granted because it was, you know, a less powerful console with less exciting graphics and whatever, but uh, I would I would love to have a lot of that New Leaf gameplay back. I would also love to see Reese and Cyrus come back with their own shop. Like, I think my big idea in the previous video was like having them have a shop in the big city, like have a city folk type expansion where there's an island city you can go to and you could go to them and maybe get special customization options that are not possible through your normal customization kits or maybe they have exclusive furniture or they can teach you exclusive DIYs that you can't get anywhere else like they, there's so many ways you could work recent Cyrus in this game into a more substantial presence than just having them have a little wedding cameo and I think it's a wasted opportunity to not have them you know, even having them be an occasional booth that shows up and they have like special DIY kits or they have special DIYs you can only purchase through them or some some other way that they can show up in the game and contribute something that's, you know, substantial to the game. I think it's a wasted opportunity because these are also very beloved characters. So many people cosplay as Reese and Cyrus and it's so cute and they're, j they're just some of the more loved characters along with Isabel from New Leaf and, you know, they have Isabel in New Horizons as well, but they don't have her do anything. That's another update. Why don't we have that yet? Why doesn't Isabel tell us who's on the island that day or tell us what the weather's gonna be or do anything of value? I mean, she tells you when we have a camper at the campsite and she tells you when there's gonna be shooting stars. So why can't she tell you it's gonna be raining today? Why can't she tell you that Sahara's here, you know? It's, it's such a no-brainer update that they could very easily put into the game. It's just giving her new dialogue, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I have a big complaint about Isabel doing nothing in this game, too. I do want to talk about my positive feelings about the wedding season is that I do think the items are really great. Um, you know, as grindy as it is to get them and as much as I hate the process to achieve the items and as much as I have no interest in actually getting all of the items, um, the items themselves are really nicely designed and they have the level of detail that we saw in some of the stuff in Pocket Camp. And I realize that those two games are two different teams entirely. Somebody explained on Twitter that like the games are owned by different companies and so that's why we don't have Pocket Camp items in New Horizons and vice versa. Which is a shame because some of the items in Pocket Camp, Camp are phenomenal, but I think what people liked about those items is all the little details. And I see that in like the wedding table with all the little candles and little, you know, plates and stuff on it, all the little intricate details on the wedding arch. People want more stuff like that because a lot of the items in, the, in New Horizons are very simple. They're very minimal looking, and I guess that's to combat um, having, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of island items stuffed onto an island to decorate it. So I can understand that reasoning for making the items maybe simpler. But I think people like those little touches, like having, you know, candles on a table or, you know, little flowers strewn about at the base of something. You know, all these little things that made Pocket Camp as a, you know, bare bones kind of crappy mobile app <laughs> made it bearable was that the items were really high quality and really beautiful looking. So I hope we see more 
detailed, pretty items like this rolled into the game. And I love that you can customize them in different colors. I personally, um, on my island, it's more like tropical themed. So I have one area that's like a like a VIP restaurant next to like a like a luau type stage. And I use the green customized wedding tables there. And they look super cool at night because the candles look great. And the little customized um, garden and sheet candles look super cool. And there's a lot of versatile ways you can use some of these items, like some stuff that's hyper specific, like the pipe organ, maybe not so much, not so many ways to use it, but you could use it in a spooky town setting, you could use it in a romantic town setting, you could use it in like a music room. So there's multiple ways you can use these themed items, which I think is really cool. So just wanted to say something positive about, <laughs> about this whole ordeal because I re do really like the items and I love Reese and Cyrus. I just think this whole thing could have been handled so much better and that recent Cyrus after this should um, be a part of the game in a more, you know, substantial way. Talking about the art briefly since I realize now that I haven't done that this entire video. I just wanted to rant about the wedding season event so I was like, how am I going to do that? Oh, duh, I'll make recent Cyrus. So it'll give me an opportunity to rant about wedding season. So getting back to talking about the art, I'm using the standard brushes I always use, 6B pencil brush in Procreate, and for the background I use Nico Rollator. I blend it out into a blue and purple pinky kind of gradient. Um, I'm really happy with this piece because I was kind of uh, tickled pink that the, the pink was almost exactly the same pink from my limited palette. I just modified it to be slightly lighter. And the blue on Cyrus, that teal, actually worked really well. I thought I would have to modify it a little bit, but I just eyedroppered it straight from there and thought it looked really sharp. So I was happy with how well all these colors came together. And I'm happy with how recent Cyrus turned out because I thought they were going to look a little funny when I first started sketching because essentially they're just kind of like fat little hot dog shapes. <laughs> these llamas, they're just, they're just fat little cylinders. And um, I thought by hiding Reese's legs, I think they're maybe slightly visible in game, perhaps, but I thought by hiding them it would give her more of a funny little shape with the uh, the dress coming out from her waist. So, and I like uh, Cyrus's very Elvisy pompadour he's got going on. So I, th I like that it sticks out of the top of the frame. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this piece and how it came together. And I really like the soft pastel colors. I don't get to do a ton of super. Uh, light pastel-y stuff like this, so it was really fun to work on. And at the very tail end, I even do something I haven't done for the rest of my Animal Crossing series. I put like an overlay of a light pinky purple just to just to soften up the colors a little bit because I wanted kind of that, you know, dreamy pastel wedding day kind of vibe. And also little sparkles I add to uh, the flowers and the crown. I mean, logistically, would there be sparkles on flowers? No. Is it cute? Yes. <laughs> I mean, there could be sparkles if there were dewdrops on the flowers, but I just wanted to add a little something cute on the on the very tail end as well. And as usual, I'm shading the same way I always do, where I take the flat colors from the first layer, duplicate it, desaturate it, make it a little darker, a little more purpley, and I mess with this a little bit later, but I set it to mask and then use the black Bonobo chalk brush to paint with the light where I think the light should hit, and then sometimes I'll go over um, again with a white paintbrush to paint some of the shadow back in. So just in case you guys are new to my videos and don't understand my uh, drawing process, I'll put up a card to my newest real-time paint, which was a Blathers, and that explains my process and the software I use in a little bit more detail. And now that I'm down to the last few minutes of this video, I just, I just want to express that I still do love this game. I still play it almost every single day, that I, though I have been skipping more days than usual lately. Um, in part because I have an upgraded laptop and I can actually do more things on it now, so I've been busy doing stuff on my laptop. And, you know, I just, I want to have a reason to keep coming back to this game, you know? Besides the fact that my friends play it and there's still some items I want and whatever. I want a reason to, to be excited to log into the game again. I want it to feel fresh. I'm really hoping for that farming update or cooking update or something big to happen to the game. And I just hope that we see more characters come back to the game in a substantial way like Red, where he has something to do on your island, he serves a specific role on your island, and he's not just a cameo. Um, I wish Red would come more frequently, but that's a different problem entirely. <laughs> and I wish that the development team, who clearly listens to feedback because of what they did for Bunny Day, I wish they would hear us when we say that we want more reasons to play the game. 
I wish they would hear us when we keep asking for basic quality of life changes to the game that still haven't happened for no good reason. And I just, I just hope somebody is listening to, maybe not my video, but just the Animal Crossing community as a whole when we say we want more, we want more. And quite frankly, they've made so much money off of us, they have no reason to not do it. <laughs> this game has sold incredibly well, they definitely have the resources to make this game the best Animal Crossing game ever. And I just, I hope we see more and more over the next few months and years. And all that rant being said, uh, what kinds of updates are you guys hoping for in the near future? Are you also looking forward to cooking and farming? Are you looking for other characters to make a return like Harriet the Shampoodle to maybe have exclusive hairstyles and hair colors? Are you looking for a huge expansion like a, another island you can visit? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. I upload new videos every single week. I'll plan I do plan on doing more Animal Crossing videos, but I also want to mix in some non-Animal Crossing content in the upcoming weeks. So thank you guys so much for always sticking with me, leaving awesome comments, liking, subscribing, and generally being awesome. I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.